的那个一个很大的压力是住在都市的都市人，他不安于住在都市的生活形态，他总梦想着你到郊区去住，是类似别墅有山有水，可是他从来没有想到他他。到郊区去买的房子，其实盖的就像个都市一样。可是它的公共设施却又没有比都市好。有时候，可是它已经破坏了那个地方原来的所谓的那个山山水水了。那这个我觉得最主要是都市这边的人，他的那个精神交换。我觉得最好的一个方法就是能够有一个城乡交换居住的方式。其实住在都市有都市的方便，住在郊区有住在郊区的方便。可是常常那个住在都市的人都以为说。我一星期一到星期五工作，所以我住在这边。我星期六、星期天我去住种的那个广告商的那个毒，说哦那边有什么山水啊、别墅啦、啊，所以就又开发了那个地方。现在最近交流到的地方，通通都是那种开发的压力太大了，因为它非常的方便上上都市去。所以我觉得这个最大的教育就是你如何安居于你所住的地方，这个我觉得很重要。一种娱乐的方式 ，shopping is kind of lifestyles for people nowadays. So, um, they need that kind of, that kind of, uh, that kind of move, uh, that kind of entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, that, so, so, if you want, uh, 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 娱乐或是满足人的方式的时候，就是其实你是很难，你很难从，你你很难靠说服说你不需要这些东西，然后去克制人的这些欲望。And the shopping, uh, shopping means more than, uh, more than to satisfy your your, uh, your true need. Plus, sorry, I mean even your president tells you. <laughs> You've got to buy things, consume. <laughs> got to help the economy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> people always do shopping when crashing. holidays instead of um, uh, just uh, come here to 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 uh, to appreciate the nature beauty, kind of that. Yeah. That's why people need shopping. Yeah. But it's very bad. I could give an example. <clears throat> um, like from where I'm from, like I I used to live in San Francisco. And it's different from a lot of places in America, but still, places like San Francisco, uh, Portland, Oregon, a lot of places now, there's like a new culture that's kind of developing. Um, you know, sort of like a alternate to consumer culture. But still, it's like, the, thing, the part of why it works is that it has become kind of hip, like you're talking about, there is that hip access aspect and in, in America we call it like hipster you know there's people young people think it's really cool to ride bikes around to compost to grow their own vegetables you know have parties with live music play bands and make their own kimchi you know and a lot of times they have big events you know events where people can you know Everybody, there's something they have called the really, really free market, and it's they have it in a park, or sometimes they have it at it's like a public art space or something, where everyone can bring something that they need to give away. I mean, this is one example. It's not exactly shopping, but you know, people find stuff that other people are giving away that's really cool, that they like, or if you have a skill, you can trade your skill. Um, but like you said, people like to shop. And so that's the thing. It's the activity. If you make a fun place, basically, it's like a green, a green night market, you know. If you have a place where people do sell things, they could sell maybe a section people sell secondhand stuff, secondhand clothes or appliances. And young people, old, and not just young people, but a lot of people would appreciate if they are looking for a blender, you know, a blending machine. If they can find, like, one that's cheap and it's secondhand and it works. But um, also, it's a place where artists, like local artists who make their own clothes, or local designers, you know, people can sell their crafts, sell their art, and also people can sell their food, 
you know, so you could have food, you could have clothing shopping, you could have other stuff. Just the thing is that it's uh, eco-friendly. So maybe there's a standard for people who can sell there. They have to show that somehow they are helping reduce the need for consumerism. Yeah. This is happening in Taiwan as well, it's in some communities. But in, in my community, we have a group where we bought and bank. Um, with our own currency, we, we exchange, we trade um, service or products or whatever, da da da. But I, again, particularly in this culture, I think a big problem is that um, traditionally people don't like to take second hand things. Everybody wants things new in this culture. It's, I mean, to buy second hand clothes, most of it, so, don't ask. Why? But that, that's it has really a, a strong blockage. And I mean, we, when we have flea, hmm? when we have flea markets what? in our community, it's uh, really even if you have something nice. Yeah, but people don't treasure it. They think it's like the make you look bad. Ten, you know, it's like there's no appreciation for that. Really. So it's 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 almost like people are doing you a favor. Well, the word flea market just immediately gives it a bad no. name, just because flea. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, <laughs> we don't have that. It's in, in Europe, I mean, flea market are very established. You can buy beautiful things and people, I mean, vintage stuff and so on and so on. And it's, it's, it's people look at what it is and pay, you know, what it's worth, you know. But it's here, I think there's a cultural blockage. I think of the time, hand. this culture grown up, then people will start to change their thing, feeling and yeah. change and the booming. I think it can be changed, but I think one also has to be aware to that there it, is yeah. this problem. Yeah. I mean, look, when people move into a new, uh, into an apartment, they need to cut everything out. Everything has to be new. You need to show people they don't need to do that. And show people how great that those things are. Well, we could also ask, maybe we could translate what I'm saying. Um, Ask how, so we know, so we know this is an obstacle, you know. But we also know we have a limited amount of stuff in the world, and we don't want to produce more. And we have tons of stuff that just gets thrown away. And you know, where are we going to throw our garbage? You know, on an island also. So, I mean, so we know it's a problem. So now it's like the solution. You know, how do we promote this? The solution is with you. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's with everyone deciding for yourself, taking a step back and saying, you know, why? what's my aversion to doing this? And then, yeah, also a lot of young, a lot of people are on, on the internet, you know, online, on Facebook or, or whatever. You know, and if somebody posts something, maybe there's a website for these kind of markets. Market has a website announcing when, announcing maybe the rules, you know, maybe announcing this each week has a new theme or a new special attraction there, a new uh, music performance or cultural performance, art, you know, something that brings people there. Like if you have something like a, a cultural performance, an artistic performance or something then people will want to go there just for that. And then they're there, they see what is, what can be found there. So, you know, if you just say, come buy some secondhand clothes, many people, yeah, they have the aversion to that. But if they say, oh, some local celebrity or someone I like, or, you know, is playing here, or my friend's band is playing here, okay, then I'll go. But will they just be like those hipsters, you say, in San Francisco, they're doing those things just because they want to be cool. So it's just basically build up another ego for being that. Well, yeah. yeah like if, it, it if it needs, if, if, if that's yes, a strategy, that's a, I mean, in the end, I think it's a strategy. It's a method. Yeah. I mean, come on, it's like driving a bicycle in Taiwan, right? It's now it's, it's cool. A trend. It's a trend, yeah. Right? But it's not for any 